everybody, everybody, everybody. Yes, we are back again. Got to listen to this show because there's hidden messages in it. It, it. This is one of those shows that make you ask yourself, are you being real or fake? So when men talk. <laughs> you might just want to listen. Love it. I love it. In a colloquial stance from an African-American's viewpoint, code switching is simply using your white professional voice when needed or your everyday cultural tongue. Like, what it do, cuz? Ain't nothing. Chilling. Word up. Hey, yo, 12 on the way, shout. Pull up in. You know what it is. <laughs> or, hello, my name is Charles Smith. How can I be of service to you? In regards to code switching, when it comes to African-Americans, specifically in hindsight of Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, Black Lives Matter, and our racist, bigotist, unblinded eye of our judicial systems, simply put, where do we need to be as African-Americans? Is it okay to code switch or remain with the constant? For example, do we stay on code in understanding everyone else's desires of political correctness and ignore our own? Is it okay to diminish the accomplishments of the Black Lives Matter movement while positioning our viewpoint with those who really don't understand or identify with our struggle? Are we simply too appeasing? Fam. He did that. <laughs> I grew up in Wakanda. ATL, SWATS, College Park. Everybody I knew knew how to be professional, but then they also knew how to kick it with the fellas. So for me, it's about authenticity. The controversial topic right now is saying code switching or keeping it real, selling out. But as we talk about colloquialisms and vernacular and idioms and etymology and even bilingual multi-dialects, multiple dialects, it's still about understanding when and how. So when I think of the word, when I think of code switching, I think of code being the language. We know that black men have a language. We have a code that we stick to, typically most of us. Switching is toggling between the multiple codes or languages. So when I think of code switching, that's how I define it. Charles, what you think? Man, you gotta switch your code up, man, depending upon your audience. You gotta Absolutely. know who you talking to. You can't come down, what up cuz, pull up on me, homie. You can't do that if they haven't grew up in your hood. You have to do it to adapt to your audience. People call it selling out, people call it, you know, Uncle Tomish. They call it a lot of different things. What I call it is you gotta do what you gotta do in the environment that you're in to get what you need to get in order to broaden your broaden your your platform you got to do it i think we all do it and you, you do it not just not just in a work sense i think you also do it when you when you talk about females or when you're doing that you don't talk to all females the same there's a code switch there and then we all if you got kids you definitely code switch <laughs> <laughs> you definitely got a code switch there i grew up in miami and mm. what i used to always get is that i was faking mm. that i was acting bougie now that oh look at little baby in the background, Charles. You got to switch your code now, Charles. You got to Charles. Switch your code. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, I'm code switching right now. <laughs> hey, baby girl. <laughs> see, you got to code. See how to code switch. Love that's from a dad. Hey, America. From, that's a dad. That's a dad. Right corporate. There. I went from corporate to dad. That was a dad code switch right there. <laughs> you almost appeared nice. That's a definite code switch. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I ain't nice. I ain't nice, hood. Here's the, deal. Here's the deal. For those of us, I think all of us have done this. When we walk into doing some mentoring for youth, and there's a room full of young brothers going in on our corporate voice that we use to sell a product or that we use to um at an interview will not fly and if we're trying to get our point across to 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 take these young brothers to the next level we have to show them that they have to be not only bilingual 
trilingual, quadrilingual? Is there a cinquilingual? We got to be able to do all of those platforms. Yeah, cinco. Talk to <laughs> See, I'm a coin. That, that's mine right now. No, we're going to put that as part of the show. That's it. But we got to be able to speak all those languages because we got to communicate a point. And then when they see that we do it, but yet we are still who we are, they'll recognize they're just playing the game. And there's nothing wrong with playing the game. So I got one question for you. Mm -hmm. Why does it feel like only people of color got a code switch? Mm. Okay. Why is it that? Uh, do you think they do? Do you think they look, do? That, look. That's, that's exactly. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sunday. I know you're going to go there. Go ahead. That's go ahead. exactly my point. Why do we have to be the ones to code switch? Now, listen, hearing, hearing this conversation, we had time to actually sit down and and listen to this for a couple of for a couple of more days than than what we we've aired. Right, right. I don't want to say I'm on the fence, but I understand. But here's the deal: collectively, I don't think we should. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why I'm on the fence. So I worked a corporate job, right? I remember looking for you, you worked a corporate job. I worked. Can you can you, you wear clothes? <laughs> That's, that's, what, that's why I got fired. You know what I'm saying? I clothes on to go to work, really? Okay, all right. All right, my fault. You know? Sorry, go ahead, y'all. Go ahead, go ahead. Before I got the job, right, I uh -huh. put my legal name on it, on the resume. Okay. I didn't get no callbacks. Mm. No callbacks. I abbreviated my name and put my last name. My phone did not stop ringing. Okay. Like real talk. I'm like all these companies, Fortune 500, come everybody calling me. Mm -hmm. I changed, and that's a form of code switching, but it worked. I was able to feed my family. I was able to feed myself, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But here's the deal: we need to actually stop asking for a handout and be the handout. You dig what I'm saying? So, so here's, here's we the deal. Like, control this, topic I mean, this this topic predominantly is only specific to African-Americans in general, in okay. general, you know, and it shouldn't be that way. So it's slavery, bro. I mean, as far as slavery in America, that's, that's African-American. And we had to find a way to maneuver through the minutia of crap that has been us for the last, what, 400 years. So for us to be able to switch it is just a talent. I don't look at it as a negativity. I look at that, I know how to play their game effectively. Let me ask you this. I, hold on. To the question of, are we the only ones that do it? Mm -hmm. I have to actually say no. I think they do it too. 